Hello chemistry folks, we have the Kool-Aid lab here and you've probably all had Kool-Aid and wondered, hey I wonder what molarity of this is. Well that's what we're going to figure out. We are going to take three different molar solutions from weak to strong, uh, we'll use Ka to stand for Kool-Aid, and we're going to go ahead and taste test these. And we are going to make 200 milliliters of each one of these solutions. Let's take a look at the formula for molarity. It equals the moles of the solute divided by the liters of solution. Now that throws a wrinkle in because you just saw we're going to get 200 milliliters and the formula uses liters. So let's convert all of those milliliters into liters. We'll have to write out our letters K H D B D C M. We're going to start with milla and we're going to move three spots to the left over to the base unit of liters. When we do that, we move our decimal over three to the left on all the numbers and we get 0.2 liters for each of the solutions that we'll make. So let's go ahead and use the formula to figure out how many moles I'll need for each one of the solutions. I'll take my molar solution equals x, or an unknown amount of moles, over top of the 0.2 liters. I'll do that for all three problems. Once I have that set, I'll need to take the molarity value and put that over top of 1 and cross multiply. Once I have that done, I'll figure out that the first solution is going to need 0.02 moles of Kool-Aid, the second solution will need 0.08 moles of Kool-Aid, and the last solution will need 0.14 moles of Kool-Aid. Now I'll do a mole problem. I'll take my 0.02 moles of Kool-Aid over top of 1 times, on the bottom of the fraction I'll write 1 mole of Kool-Aid, and on the top I need to figure out what is the molar mass of Kool-Aid. For this section, I'll go ahead and take a look at the periodic table. Scanning through the periodic table, I take a look for Kool-Aid. Um, I, I do not see Kool-Aid on the periodic table. Oh, so how are we going to figure out this molar mass? Well, when I look at the ingredients of Kool-Aid, I'll see the number one ingredient is sugar. So really, what I'm looking for is sucrose. And sucrose, as you can see on the formula here, C12H22O11, has a molar mass of 342 grams per mole. Now I can go back to my math plug in that 342 as the molar mass for each of the situations, and solve how many grams of Kool-Aid do I need to make each one of these solutions. And so here we have the jars we're going to use to make each one of those three solutions, and I'll start by measuring out the 6.84 grams, the 27.36 grams, and the 47.88 grams. Next, I'll go ahead and add a little bit of water to each one of the jars. Then I'll go ahead and add the solute, the sugar, the sucrose, the Kool-Aid to the jar, stir it to get it to dissolve, and finally I'll go ahead and add enough water to take it up to 0.2 liters for each one of the solutions. Okay, now I have the three solutions made. All of them have used the solute of Kool-Aid, the solvent has been water, and we have our 0.1 molar, 0.4 molar, and we have our 0.7 molar. Now these three solutions, one thing I can say, they are all unsaturated. I could put more solute in them. I don't want to. I want to go ahead and taste test these and see how they taste. So if I go here to the 0.1 molar, I can tell there's Kool-Aid in it. It's red. And I can get a little bit of the flavor, but this, this is pretty bland. I would say this is dilute. This is what I would give my kids. We'd save money. They wouldn't get much sugar. It's, it's a win-win for everyone. Let's go to the 0.4. A little strong but probably what most people would like. That, that tastes pretty good. This is like Kool-Aid when you want some sugar. So that leads me to think that 0.7 is gonna be a little extreme. Let's give it a shot. You might find some kids who like this, but this is, this is really concentrated. Now, with this one being dilute, if I really wanted to drink it, I'd just add some more solute in there. Um, with this one, it's perfect. This one here, it's a little strong. So I would need to dilute this if I wanted to drink it. So we are going to go ahead and take a look at the dilution formula and how you would go about doing that in chemistry. Now of course I can just add water to it, that'll dilute it, but I want to get it to the exact same molarity as the 0.4 molar solution I have from in the middle. So let's go ahead and look at the dilution formula. I take the molarity and the volume of the original solution and it will equal the molarity and volume of the final solution. There's a before and after, a strong side and a weak side. At this time, we'll go ahead and put in the molarity on the left side is the strong stuff, the 0.7 molar. On the right side, it's the 0.4 molar. This is what we want to turn it into. But we have two blank spots for volume, and we're not sure what to put in there. Well, we're taking our strong stuff, and we know that we drank a little bit of it, about a, uh, probably 5 milliliters. So instead of 200 milliliters, we're down to 195 milliliters, which is about 0.195 liters. Also, around this time, my son was flying his drone around the room and I was viciously attacked.
Now remember, I can write 0.195 liters on the right side, but then I can't solve for anything. The right volume is what I am trying to solve for. How much volume can I make of the new weak stuff when I dilute the concentrated stuff? So I go ahead and plug in my values and solve, and I get a volume of 0.34 liters. But what does that really mean? What that means is that I need to keep adding water until it gets to 0.34 liters. Once I do that, then I will have diluted it to 0.4 molar. So we can see from our dilution formula, this one's our 0.4, we keep this set. This is our weak one for our kids. Um, this is the one that I want to dilute. I've got to continue adding water until I get to that 0.34 line, which is hard for me to see from this angle, but let's see here, right about there. Now that I've done that, I can swirl this up and I have just diluted this 0.7. It is now 0.4, just like this one. And if I taste them, and compare it, they're the same. They're both 0.4 molar.